definite problem with the cows here. About to trail out some corn just like I do my chickens. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. 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 Things you do for deer. Welcome on back to the channel, everybody. We're trying to hunt this trophy buck again. But what I just did was I set up a blind, an actual blind at that same spot, and I'm gonna try to hunt there, like dedicate to that deer. I haven't checked cards or anything. I'm gonna just hunt this evening, see if anything comes out. Probably not because of the cows, but this is the one. This is like the guy. Come on now, get your corn. There's, uh, there's probably like 50 cows just right by my blind. This might be a lost cause. We might have to punt here and just leave this set up for the morning. I'm glad I got here. Glad I got out of here and set this up so I don't have to do it in the morning. But poo, literally. So I just pulled card out of the camera. We're gonna go check it and see if we got any consistency here. I've already blown it. Depending on what we see on the camera, it's gonna determine whether we come here in the morning. It might just be beef land. Let's have a look at the evidence, shall we? This is always the exciting part. We just had a major, major cold front. Freezing nights, daytime highs in the 40s. And I think it probably kicked this deer into high gear, chasing tail. We got a cow, 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 cow. Looks like there was a doe, nothing there, just a hog. Uh, there he is. Oh, that's PM. Oh my gosh, it's yesterday. It right now nine in the morning okay he's still coming he said right at seven this guy's coming in every day oh my gosh what a beautiful beautiful photo <sighs> holy spittoons that's a megatron and i want to point something else out too that you can tell it's a more mature deer i mean obviously he's just big broad he's got a big neck but a lot of bucks have big necks this time of year because of the rut but see how his face has this more broad nose. Um, the smaller deer, the younger deer, they'll have a more uh, narrow nose, kind of like uh, some dogs, like a German Shepherd, you know? But he's got a, a wide base there. It goes down into a more equilateral triangle, just to bring in a little geometry there. Freaking pumped. Oh yeah, freaking pumped now. Wow, that is a... Dude, that's a nice deer. That's a wide deer. We are sitting here at camp. I am on my tailgate. And there is a shooter buck that's got a doe pinned down. Trophy deer walking towards us right now. That's one of the... On something else. That is unbelievable. He's on, what, 100 yards? Yeah.
always forget to take my headlamp off. It's probably why the deer keep looking at me so much. One of the funnest sits I've had, honestly. Big and s Yeah, we saw a, a freak little a two, I'm, I'm gonna say he's maybe two and a half. He's, he's probably three and a half, but, and then old big boy, he came in, he was there, um, and he stood around that feeder. You know, you could tell who the dominant buck was. He stood around there and ate, he was, you know, 45, 50 yards um, through a fence. That was just not a shot that I was willing to take. And then, you know, that 12 comes in, double split brows, beauty. Just got my heart set on this pond deer. He's tricky, he's tricky, y'all. And the harder a deer is to hunt, uh, the bigger a trophy it is at the end of the day. We also missed a coyote, y'all. That's what, that's what also made it an awesome sit. Here's what I'm gonna do right now just to kind of try to keep the action going. It's still really chilly. We've got some overcast. Um, birds are going crazy out here. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful day to hunt. I'm gonna take the rattles and I'm just gonna try to rattle some of these uh, deep oak areas that are close to where this feeder is, where I think this deer is kind of hanging out during the day and see if we can rattle them up.
does on this road. A lot of does crossing right here, and sometimes I see some bucks crossing here. And... I don't care who you are. This is fun. I went around, rattled, didn't hear anything. I'm being very sporting about this. I've had so much fun hunting with the bow on the ground, up close and personal. <sighs> what I'm alluding to is, if it doesn't work out tonight, and I know this deer is a morning deer, that 308 is sitting in the truck, and uh, we may just have to send one downrange and sit in the box blind. Sam, you got ammo? All right, we're in here now, y'all, and it is about an hour until the feeder goes off, but it's, it's a lower light today, so I think the deer might, might come out a little sooner. This is the magic tree right here, and I've got, I've got corn and I've got the sugar beets sitting right there, and that is at 18 yards. And I also have uh, corn and some of the sugar beets coming in here. This gate has swung it out open, so this is a really far shot on the back side of that that pin where I saw the deer earlier. And that's like 40, 50 yards, but up in front of it over here is only like 35, and I feel pretty comfortable with that. We've set ourselves up. We've done everything we can do here to be successful with the bow. It's just putting the time in. Sure did give it the old college try. Come here, little sleepy. It's not working out with the bow. As you could see with the deer behavior tonight and basically every time I've hunted there, it's been calm. There just hasn't been a, a wind to really, you know, move trees around. That's one thing. There's a little bit of like white noise that's going on. 
um, when it's dead still and the deer can just hear every little thing they're they're very skittish and then my scent there seemed to be like a 50 yard radius where my scent was getting put out all around and the deer would kind of come into that and they'd try to figure out where it was like where's that coming from where's that coming from and that last deer actually did he walked around and, and sniffed me and blew and, and ran out really smart big deer i hadn't seen before uh, my biggest deer right now I've taken with a bow. It scored 138 inches. It was an old, like, seven-year-old deer. I think this one is bigger. I think this one might be over 140 inches. I've, trust me, my, my heart will be pounding, you know, especially knowing that this is probably the biggest deer um, that I've ever encountered and having a, a, a chance to shoot. So I'm going to be pumped. But um, it's just not working out with the bow, with the conditions. And, you know, I've spent enough time there. I've tried. <sighs> We're going to try to get it done with the rifle. There's no guarantees, but I know this deer is coming in in the morning. He's got a little routine. Lock and load, 308 sleeper. Let's send one down range in the morning, y'all. Well, my friends, this is a sad ending to this video and this hunting trip. Not what I was hoping for. I know it's not what you were hoping for. We we're all hoping to see the uh, pond deer go down in glory. The quest for the pond deer will have to continue. You know, made a mistake trying to get the deer. I, I wanted to get him with a bow, but the good news is uh, I get to hunt. I have a lot more time to hunt out here. <sighs> I'm sorry we didn't get him today, but that's just real life. So the next time I come out here, hopefully the pond deer is still on a routine, still in this area, but it's it's a low fence, guys. It's the rut, and he could be, you know, 10 miles away right now. And the next time I come out, I'm gonna try to bring OSG and let her sit and just watch deer and get her first doe. And she's been ask, actually asking. I'm gonna unload and sign it off for the day, y'all. The quest for the pond deer will continue. So subscribe so you don't miss a single video and outdoor action. And we will see you soon on the next one.